everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to make a video and this is a different kind of video than what I usually make on my channel but this is something that I really want to talk about because I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen there's been a lot of drama in the reborn community lately and I just wanted to discuss discuss some things that are directly um, affecting me so what you're seeing right here are four babies and these are actually all dolls that I've created within the past 10 days. I didn't make them start to finish within the past 10 days. Um, actually, these two I did, but these two I finished. So all these dolls have been finished within the past 10 days. And so they're my relatively new work. This one's the most new. I just finished her today. Um, this doll is sold. She was custom work. She has no hair because that was a request to have her bald. Um, this one is also sold, but these two are available. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about is where you can buy my dolls because I get a lot of questions regarding where my dolls are sold because I know a lot of you guys want to buy my dolls, which I do really appreciate and I'm glad that you guys are interested in them. So I only do business for custom dolls through my Instagram, Little Mouse Nursery. That will be on the screen for you guys so you can check it out and it's in the description of all my videos as well. I always put my Instagrams down there. Um, so you can message me there for customs and um, so I only do custom work through my Instagram and I also sell dolls through Instagram and I occasionally sell dolls on eBay but I recently have not been doing that because I hate like taking all the time to post listings because it takes forever and also a lot of other artists have been having issues with eBay so I think I'm mostly just gonna stick to selling on Instagram so really the best place to get my dolls is from my Instagram Little Mouse Nursery so that's where you can find my dolls like I said these two are available right now so you can buy either one of those I actually have a highlighted story on my Instagram that will show you um, all the dolls I have for sale here I can show you guys even my Instagram so this is my reborn Instagram that's what I call it little mouse nursery you can click on this thing that says for sale and it will show you all my dolls that I have for sale it's kind of hard to see but if you click on that it'll show you all the dolls I have for sale all the time like I'll always update it so if a doll sells it'll get off of that and if a new one is up for sale it'll go on to that so I also post pictures of all the dolls that I make so you can always see my own work and if a doll that I posted on that account is not my own work it will clearly be stated so that's just uh, first of all where you can find my dolls so recently the drama, or drama, I don't know if it's really drama, regarding me and my dolls is that a lot of people have been saying my dolls are overpriced. Now, the first thing that I really want to say is that nobody has the right to tell an artist how much their art is worth because, like, no one can determine the price of a piece, like, the worth of a piece of art besides the artist who created it. No one else has any idea what went into that doll or anything. People have been trying to tell me I overcharge on my dolls and it's not true. I really don't make any profit. It's not that I'm in this to make profit, but if I didn't make any money back, it wouldn't be worth it because then I wouldn't be able to continue doing this. I need to make money back so I can put more into it so I can keep producing. That's really the main reason I need to make profit so I can put back into it and continue making dolls because otherwise it's not worth it to continue. So, um, like I said, I really don't make a lot of profit on my dolls at all. Um, people have been speculating that my dolls are really overpriced, which isn't true. And let me grab one doll real quick. This one I made, um, maybe two months ago. Um, this one has been debated a lot. I have this doll. This is Realborn June, seven months awake. I have this doll priced at $500, which is a lot cheaper than I bought my June for, just saying. But I also do want to say that you can't judge all of, like, you can't judge every single June the same. They cannot all be worth the same price because there's different materials, different amounts of time. The artists, it, everything depends. You cannot say that two Junes from completely different people are worth the same price, and that's not what I'm trying to say. I think that my dolls are very reasonably priced and I do think I could be charging more for my dolls. A lot of people around me always tell me, Kelly, you could charge so much more for your dolls and I don't and here's the reason why. I know my audience. I know that most of the people buying my dolls are kids who watch my videos or their parents and they might not want to spend so much on a doll. So obviously $500 is expensive to pay for 
anything, um, especially a doll. But the thing is, Reborns are not just dolls. They are collectibles. They are all one of a kind. They are handmade and they are pieces of art. They're not mass produced. You cannot go to Walmart and buy this doll. You cannot go anywhere and just buy this doll. It's, this is the only one of this doll. So it's automatically like more rare because this is the only one of this exact doll right here. You can't have this like, I cannot recreate this because they're all one of a kind handmade. You cannot re like replicate your own work. You can never make this exact same doll ever again. So, um, like I was saying with my prices, I have this doll priced at $500. Now let me break down my supplies. The kit for this doll, blank unpainted, is $80. And the body for this kit, this, this body right here, is $15. The glass eyes that I use are $35. They're actually a little more depending on the size, but I always just charge my customers a base price of $35 because I like to keep the prices neat. I don't want like $37, like... I, th I like to have it at like zeros and fives, so I only charge $35 for my eyes. So I usually lose money on eyes because I charge less, actually. These eyes are $35. This doll actually has hand applied. They're, um, they're not rooted eyelashes. They're applied because I thought they looked better on this doll. But the hair that I use to root eyelashes into all my other babies, like this one here, the hairs that I buy are $50 for a bunch of hairs, which I can use on a bunch of dolls, but that's still expensive to get little hairs to use on these dolls. The gloss that I use to gloss their lips and, and their inside their nose, their ears, their um, fingernails, their toenails, that gloss is pretty expensive as well. Uh, the pencils that I use to draw their hair is expensive. All the paints together cost hundreds of dollars and I have to replenish them because obviously without the paints, I can't make the dolls. The thinner, I also go through thinner quickly and thinner costs a lot. The oven itself costs like at least $100. I don't even know how much it is. Um, the paint thinner, I actually just ran out of paint thinner and the one that I get is so expensive. It's I think it's like $60, so I need to get more of that. Um, and then also I send my dolls home all with like at least $75 worth of extras because I send all my dolls home with a blanket, a sleeper, three other outfits. They all have magnets in them, which I do pay for the magnets as well. Um, and then I send them home with at least two diapers, sometimes more. And um, if I put a magnetic hair bow in a doll, I send them home with a, mag a magnetic hair bow to go with it. Um, and those, the clothes and everything, the accessories, that can get really expensive. And like I said, I don't know the exact price, but it's around at least $75 to send home with all my dolls. I have had people ask me if I would send them home without all those extras to make the doll cheaper. And I do offer that. But a lot of people don't want that because they want the nice box opening. So um, that is something that I offer. I do offer a cheaper price if you don't get a box opening I would just send the doll in a blanket with one outfit and I would charge less because obviously I wouldn't be buying the outfits to go with it I also have had people ask me if I would send more outfits and people have sent me extra money to make a bigger box opening and I also do that so like I said the clothes and stuff get really expensive the accessories that I send them home all home with so when it really all comes down to it, I don't make that much profit on my dolls. And like I said, I'm not in it for the money, but it's, if I don't make profit, I can't put it back into making more dolls. So this doll, like I said, is being really discussed on my account right now because people think it's way too expensive. And, um, I know obviously I'm not the best artist. I have, this is my third year painting. I'm not a professional at all. I still kind of consider myself a beginner at times or like intermediate at best. And um, obviously my work isn't as good as some other artists, but trying to say that um, someone's work is worth less than what they have priced it at is really rude and degrading, honestly, because you're trying to tell someone that what they put their hours... Oh, also, I don't even like pay myself like minimum wage to make these dolls. People have been speculating, people who are supporting me have been speculating that you could, minimum wage in Massachusetts is $12, around $12. And so I don't know like 
how many hours I really spend on each doll because I don't really count it by that. I don't charge by the hour, but most artists spend around 40 hours. If I made, if I sold a doll and I calculated how much I would charge just for my work at $12 an hour for 40 hours, that would be 480 hours in addition to the price of the kit and the body and the eyes and all the other stuff, but I don't do that. I don't charge minimum wage by the hour. I don't know why I, do I don't do that, but I don't because I know that makes the price really high and I could do that. I know a lot of artists do that and good for them because that's like, if that's your only job, then of course that's what you're going to get paid and it's worth it. And especially for beautiful work, it's worth paying a more expensive price. All the dolls I have in my collection, pretty much all of them, are, yeah, all of them are, I paid much more for than any of the dolls that I sell. And rightfully so, because they are a lot more beautiful than my work. I aspire to paint like the artists whose dolls that I own. I always look at them for inspiration and try and make my dolls look like their dolls when I'm making new dolls. And um, so I think that I really do reasonably price my dolls. Like I said, a lot of people do think I could charge more. And I think I could too, but I don't because, like I said, I respect my audience and I understand that I have younger younger people buying my dolls. And they're also, it's not only younger people, but it's a lot of younger people. And like I said, I understand Reborns are expensive, but these are a luxury item. These are a want, they are not a need. You do not need a Reborn baby. You can live without one. You do not need one which is why they are a luxury item. They are expensive because they are something to have for fun. You don't need it in your life like you would need food like and clothing. Their food and clothes are not that expensive because you need them to live, but these you don't need, and so they're not going to be as cheap because, like I said, they're a luxury item. They're handmade. They're collectibles. They are rare. They're delicate. They all kinds of things that I mentioned earlier, and, um, oh, where was I going with this? <laughs> um, oh, so I understand that not everyone can pay, like, $400 for a doll, which makes sense. Not everyone has $400 just to drop on a doll right then and there, which makes sense, but like I said, it's a want. It's not a need, so if you don't have $400 to drop on a doll, then don't get a doll because you don't need it. Do you know what, do you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to like, I don't know. I hope that I'm making sense. But I had a customer today message me and they were trying to ask me, they were asking me quotes on a bunch of different dolls and they finally were like, oh, I want a Levi. And so I told them my price and they said, can you, I can't do that. Can you just make it for me? Like for free. And I said, no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. And she said, how about for a hundred bucks? And I said, no, the kit alone is $109. So I would be making, I wouldn't even make any money on that because I'd lose $9. And like, well, I'd lose a lot more than $9, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And she said, that it was for her baby girl, she just kept saying that, like, as if that would make me instantly want to make her a doll, like, she was saying that it's, um, making her daughter cry, and that she doesn't make that much money, and it's for her baby girl, and she called me some rude words, and, uh, I won't be repeating those, um, and she just said some really mean things to me. I did post the conversation on my Reborn Instagram, I blocked out the account name, so... I'm not trying to start any hate with her. I just wanted to share things that I deal with constantly. And she just didn't understand that just because she really wanted this doll for her daughter, it didn't mean I was just going to do it for her. And one thing that I have compared this to, you would not go to a public store like Target and go up to the employees and tell them, like, you're trying to buy, like, this, not, this is, like, unrealistic, but, like, say this hairbrush is overpriced. You wouldn't go to Target and tell them, this is overpriced. I want you to give it to me for free because they won't do that. You don't tell them you want a discount because it doesn't work like that. And you wouldn't give them a sob story saying, like, 
my mom has cancer, can you please give me a doll? Because at Target, they're not going to do that. No one's going to do that. Sob stories don't work because most of the time people are lying. And, like, you just don't go to a public store and yell at the employees, call them rude words, and expect them to give you a discount or give you something for free because it doesn't work like that. So I just don't know why people treat anyone selling things online any different. Because it's basically the same thing. If you wouldn't say those things to a Target employee, don't say them to me over Instagram DMs. I'm trying to make my account and my business seem professional. I know, obviously, I'm still technically a minor because I'm not 18 yet. I will be in a couple months. But just because I'm a minor doesn't mean I need to be treated like a child and that you can bully me into lowering my prices or anything like that because that's not how it works. This is a legitimate business and it should be treated like one, like a Target or like any store that you go to. So, yeah, I don't know. It just makes me mad that people think that you can just yell at everyone and for a discount and they'll give it to you because it doesn't work like that. So people just have been treating reborn artists, um, really rudely lately, and I, I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but I just don't think it's right. It's really disrespectful, and also telling an artist that their work isn't worth what they are asking is, it's so degrading, and it really affects how the artist feels, because, like I said, I don't think I charge a lot for my dolls, like, If I saw, I don't know, a doll's price like this, I would, like, buy them in a second because, like, I think they're really good prices and compared to the dolls that I buy for myself, these are a lot cheaper. (laughs) But also, I'm not a huge fan of my own work. I don't give myself enough credit, I don't think, because I really dislike my own work and I never think it's good enough for myself, which is why I don't keep my dolls because I don't like them enough. They don't reach my standards. And I know that people like my work. I know my work makes people happy. And because people have told me that, um, a couple years ago I made a custom doll and I hated the doll so much. I felt so bad sending the doll home to the girl. I hated it so much. It was the worst doll I've ever made still to this day. Like I think in my mind, I think it was the worst doll I've ever made. Like, I couldn't believe I sent it to this girl. I felt really bad. And I met her at Rose this year. And I told her that. I told her. She told me, oh, I have this doll that you made me. And I told her, I feel really bad that I sent that to you. I didn't want to send you it because I really didn't like how the work turned out. And she was surprised because she told me she really liked the doll. And that she thought that he was great. And so it was just... It was strange because I really didn't like that doll. Like, I dislike my own work and I put it down even though I know other people do like my work. So, even if I don't like my work, I know other people do. This video is kind of all over the place and I apologize for that. I'm just kind of like ranting a little bit. Kind of bringing light to some situations and stuff. But, basically, my overall message here is to tell you, first of all, where you can get my dolls. If you forgot, go back to the beginning of the video. And, um, just to let you guys know that, yes, Reborns are expensive, but you don't need one. If you can't afford it, save up. I offer layaway on all of my dolls, so you can also work out with that. But like I said, save up, work for it, and you can eventually earn one, and it'll be really rewarding when you do, definitely. I know when I got my first baby, it was Caleb, it was so rewarding, like, knowing that I had worked my way up to get him, and I really love and appreciate Caleb, and he's very special to me. So, if you can't afford a baby, because like I said, they are expensive, they are luxury items, they are a want, they are not a need, save up, work for it, and it'll be much more rewarding than begging someone on the internet to give you a discount and make yourself look childish. (laughs) Um, And ultimately, it, it does look childish. And I usually don't respond to messages like that. So, yeah. I don't know. Basically, that's the end of this video. I just kind of ranted for a little bit. Like I said, these dolls are available on my Instagram. And I do custom work. So, yeah. (laughs) 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I didn't miss anything that I wanted to say. This video is all over the place and I apologize for that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> thank you guys. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>